Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, taking a few final calls here with Joseph Farah. Had a great discussion last hour. Let's talk to Jeffrey in Michigan. Thanks for holding. We'll go to Lance and others. You're on the air. What's your question or comment? Greetings, gentlemen. Much love. Uh, I appreciate you taking the call. Hey, uh, real quick, first things first, uh, Mr. Farah, Mr. Jones, uh, keep doing your thing. It's a, it's a wonderful uh, part life. of life when you can hear from a grand stage such as, you know, broadcast, um, people proclaiming Christ and uh, being real. And on that note, Mr. Farah, I got to say one thing. Mm -hmm. You are correct very much in saying that the people who run the show need to repent and be of a, a, a contrite heart and, and things of that such. But the one, I think, aspect we need to re-recognize or reevaluate or realize is that these people not only need to do that, but they first need to acknowledge his existence. You know, I think that's <laughs> right. a major issue, denial. Well, I want to say this. I've been a Christian my whole life, but not the establishment church. I have a spiritual relationship. But just as things get worse and worse, whatever reason, if either, even if there are atheists out there listening, I need Christ, and I believe in Christ, and I believe in the ideas of Christ, and I couldn't do this and have the courage that I have. And I'm not bragging. I'm just saying I, I, it's the opposite. I'm weak. I need God. Okay, and, and so I just noticed the people fighting the evil are mainly true Christians. And so all I know is evil is growing everywhere. We better do something. Right. And look, what we're talking about here is a sense of, of powerlessness. I mean, you've got, you've got this platform that you use, and it's a big platform. But, you know, there are a lot bigger platforms than this that we're not getting to. And so, you know, as we had some success with WND, I felt, you know, Everything I've been working for, I still have this sense of powerlessness at the end of the day. Well, you can't, you can't be paralyzed by that as long as you know that we serve this mighty God created. Holds the universe together. Without him, if he, if he went to sleep, you know. You know, the <laughs> physicists have now proven what the Bible says, that there is an invisible dimensional force holding everything, everything together. Everything together. There's yeah. something outside of it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as long as we're, we, we know that he's on our side then you know, we sh can never feel powerless again. The system wants us to feel powerless. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, no, you constantly think, I've got to do more, I've got to beat him, I've got to beat him. You finally got to realize, no, just calm down, smooth out, do a good job, yeah. but don't, cause th that's why I really used to blow up and gibber on air was because I was just so mad. There's a world government, there are tyrants, it's real. Stop denying it. You know? <laughs> I noticed you've calmed down quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, I still get upset a lot. I just like, I mean, I'm reading documents, executive orders. People go, that's a conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm. At a certain yeah. point, you're sick of it. Exactly. I, you know, I've been hearing that for, for too long, the conspiracy thing. Meanwhile, the, the White House puts out the communication stream of conspiracy commerce report there in black and white. Nobody calls them conspiracy theorists because they're winding this. And it's an open conspiracy to shut down free speech. Yeah. I mean, anyone <laughs> would figure any journalism professor would read that and say this is the stuff of the Soviet Union. Yeah. I mean, this is their indictment. This is their confession mm -hmm. of, of how evil they are. Exactly. I mean, can you imagine writing a memo of you were, how do we shut down Farah and shut down people investigating Vince Foster's death? Mm -hmm. They should be investigated for wanting to cover up investigations. <laughs> Precisely. Thank you, yeah. caller. Uh, you know what? We just, I can't get to everybody else. I apologize to everybody. If you call back tomorrow, I'll get to you. Uh, Joseph Farah, WND.com. You guys just get better and better with all your coverage and everything you're doing. And I really appreciate uh, all the work you're doing, and that you also linked our stories. I'm the leader of the Alex Jones fan club. Oh, my gosh. Joseph Farah, thank you so much, sir. <laughs> God bless you, brother. And uh, are we allowed to say the film you're working on, or we should just leave that secret? I think it's a secret. Yeah, we'll do that, but it'll be exciting, and uh, a lot of great work. I think that's the key. I know that Alex Jones is a major star of it. So oh, please. Oh, yeah. I got my big it. pumpkin I, head. I haven't seen it. I've seen it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> all right. Joseph Farah, thank you so much, sir.
Yep. All right, we're going to go out and have a glass of water, and then he's going to get on an airplane and get out of here. Great job to the crew. Nightly News tonight, 7 o'clock. Become a subscriber. That's it. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. That lower, that lower our testosterone and other hormones. and.